Welcome back to a new episode here in Swali. Today is the first episode of 2020. I hope that you had a nice New Year celebration if you celebrate New Year, I guess. Um, and Christmas too, if you do celebrate that too. So for this first episode, <clears throat> I'm not sure if somebody asked, but I think somebody asked something similar to these a while back. I'm gonna be making a an object mask transition here in DaVinci Resolve 16 using mainly the Fusion tab. This can be done using, a, there's different ways of, as I always say, there's different ways of obtaining similar results. So let me just show you this little thing and you'll see why it's it will be different than if you use another method. This is an object mask transition is what I call it because it has that sort of um, sort of like a 2D, 3D effect. It looks like that tree is actually coming out of the screen and not part of the screen itself of the same footage, although it is part of the footage. It is a cut, I cut a portion of it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go and grab our clip here. And we're gonna create a fusion clip with it and this first fusion clip what we're gonna do is we're gonna find what the tree that we want to mask so i use this tree over here and you also have to make sure you find the right keyframe it all depends on the scene that you have because if you have like a light here it will look weird if you have that so we're gonna find the tree that we want um yeah we're gonna do this one seems to be pretty decent right here because it's pretty dark and the light has limited effect on it. And we're going to go to the clip section and we're going to freeze frame or press shift R. So that will make the whole thing be just that. And the reason for that is that we're going to go into fusion now and we're going to mask out. We're going to mask out this tree. So we're gonna go to the pull line stroke tool here and we're gonna invert it so we can see what we want to mask. And we're gonna do a sort of like a quick mask, a raw mask. It doesn't have to be perfect. It will only have to be perfect if you're doing it for real for somebody else, like a client and it, and they want you to make it really smooth or what if it helps to tell the story that you're trying to tell, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up, of course, because I don't wanna take all the time here just doing these little masking all right and now with, that we have that mask we're going to invert it back and we have our main tree that we're going to use for this style this animation then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab that footage that we have and we're going to connect it here with the merge node and we're actually going to press ctrl t because we want our tree to be on top of the footage we're going to add a transform node so we can actually move this tree around. And we're also going to adjust the size of these. And for that, I actually unlock these and make it a little bit wider like that. All right. And also the thing that the other one, if it will look weird if you don't adjust it with the speed of the camera movement. Oh, and one thing that I forgot to tell. You want your your all your all of your footage to be going from to the same direction. If you have a the camera panning left, you want your next image, your next scene to be going left also because otherwise it will look pretty weird. So we're going to use this tree as a reference of the speed that we want to have. We're going to use one tree that we have here. So we're going to use this tree as a reference. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna create a keyframe for these, for the position. And we want our tree to go sort of like at the same speed of, of the footage. So we're gonna move these, oh, not there. And there it's a little bit too fast. So yeah, let's make it there. Let's see if that works out. And it still looks a little bit weird, but that's fine. Because it doesn't have to be perfect and it also adds that certain, it adds a certain feel to it. 
And the next thing that we want to have is we're going to create a shape mask, a square or a rectangle. We're going to make it bigger, as big as that. And we're going to go here. We're going to make sure we are aligning it with the tree that we have. So when the tree shows up, we're going to create a keyframe for the position. And we're going to have to drag these out at the same speed that the tree is going out. So there, there. So that will make the whole thing disappear with the tree or behind the tree. It adds that effect of like the tree is actually just eating all of it up. All right. Okay, and that's pretty much it for that part. Oh, and we have to make sure that we are that we are not messing up a bunch of like keyframes there, as you can see there. So we're gonna have to fix it a little bit. Make sure it's going at the same speed. Because we don't want our screen to be showing in there. There. And that's good for there, for that part. The next thing is we're going to add our clip here. I'm going to connect it also. Whoop. There. And you'll see that this clip is actually going the opposite way, the original clip. So what I did was I simply went here to the clip and I added a transform node and then I flipped this click. So then it shows that it's going this same a similar direction as the first image. All right. So then the next thing that we need to have is we are going to press control T. So then this part, this media in three, there is actually our background. So then when we, the tree comes out, it will go into the other one because this, this is the one that's showing us a, as a background. This is the easiest way of actually making it that way. You can also just leave it as a foreground and you will just have to add a mask similar to these, but it's coming that way following the tree. But yeah, so that's basically the, the, the whole idea behind this type of object masking is basically grabbing an object from your footage and making it serve as the transition medium, I guess you could call it, between two shots. And it usually works best if you have like a lot of like footage that's going fast, like running scenes and all that stuff, because it just, it's more subtle, like people can really see much of the movement, unlike this one when the, the tree is there. The other method that we can do is also just add a polyline stroke mask around one of these trees right here and then track it so it follows the whole footage all the way there. And another thing that I did add was to have a sort of like an interesting effect to it, I added a shadow to the tree and I made it a little bit opaque. And then I put it there maybe. And I just played around with the softness of it also. Made it more, the softer it gets, the blurrier and more subtle it is. And that's what you kind of want. You don't want it to be super sharp. All right, and then that's it. This works better if you had like, I don't know, like if you wanted to go from nature to city, that would be a cool way of transitioning also. Or if you have two people walking in different directions, let's say one is walking in the forest and then you have that tree in between and then it shows up walking at the beach. There could be a good, a cool thing to have there. And then, then after that, what I did was I just played around with the sound design to add a little bit of an interesting feel to it. As you can see here, uh, this is just the, the sound, the ambient sound. This is a, this is some recording of nature, like in the forest, like birds and all that stuff. This is the ocean waves that you see. 
and then this last one is um, like sound of somebody walking or stepping on wet sand and then that's basically the whole thing up so yeah I hope that you learned something cool today in this video and I hope that this first video of the year sets up a good expectation and direction I guess you could say of what it's coming this year so yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that you have fun with this and I hope to see you in the next episode here in Suave.